Good morning. Welcome to another garden video. Hey y'all, it's me, Simply Tanya Renee. Just wanted to do a quick little garden walkthrough. Um, got some peppers that I need to cut. Um, it is Saturday, the 6th of uh, July. And we're just going to do a quick little walkthrough and see what the garden has for us before it gets way too hot. I do have work that I need to do in the garden, but I'm going to wait and do that probably tomorrow because I need to go to Lowe's and get some. Um, they have these pellets that you can put down for rabbits. I need to get some of those and they need to get some blood meal, which is good for fertilizing, but it also keeps a lot of the wildlife away. So let's uh, see what we have. I went to a farmer's market this morning and um, got some peppers and looking at their peppers, I was like, hmm, mine are about the same size. So that means I need to go ahead and prune my vines. Wait, they're not on vines. Prune my pepper plants, there it is. And go ahead and cut the peppers off. Um, it's already hot. You can see some stuff that's already looking really sad. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so that y'all can see what the garden is looking like so far. So I've pruned the mint a couple of times and it is growing back. So I need to put my glove on because there's some things I need to cut. Oh, that is awful. I should have this camera on a tripod, but I don't. So this is not mint. This is... Um, I told y'all about the tree that I have that it spreads like the mint does. So I just wanted to pull that up. And a lot of this is still um, uh, weeds. Like this is just weeds and that's just grass. But I wanted to get these out because these things keep growing and I need to dig them up by the root. But I want to show you the mint is still doing well. The dill is starting to die off a little bit. Um, nothing fancy going on here. And here you can see where the rabbits have eaten. Let me see if I can show you the tips that are white. That's from rabbits. They came and ate my stuff, which is kind of disheartening. And it kind of aggravates me because this plant was so big and full until the blasted rabbits came. Hey, Alyssa. Um, this is one of the marigolds that was planted um this is by grown from seed so it is doing really well um and look look how hot it is already look at this just pitiful yep it's hot out here and i'm gonna save the seeds from this marigold so i'm just gonna sit that there until i get ready to go back in the house but it's hot the lemon balm there and lemon balm there we have a pretty zinnia. Um, the basil is coming back from when I pruned it. It's looking a whole lot better now, a whole lot better. And I pruned the lavender, that's looking good. My chamomile, I don't know what's going on with it, but there's some dead pieces, so I'm just gonna get those off. But here we have, um, borage coming in here and y'all I am so mad because I had a couple more pieces of borage and I know the daggone rabbits ate it I'm so sick of them things and I know people are like oh they're so cute yeah but they are not cute for my garden and I don't have enough stuff planted to be sharing with them another zinnia this is a uh, calendula Look at all the zinnias that have popped up. So pretty, so very pretty. This one, I'm probably about to have to deadhead it soon because you can see that it's the um, pieces are starting, the petals are starting to fall, but we have another one opening up there. And that's the one thing about zinnias. They will grow like several flowers to one stalk. Um, tomatoes are looking good. Hello. <laughs> Oh, we got a nice sized tomato coming in there. And one coming in there. Ooh, I had an ant crawling on me. Lord. Mm. Another zinnia. Oh, we got a tomato flower. I need to cut this off though. I don't want these yellow leaves. So we're gonna prune that. I'm gonna, huh? Oh, it's mac and cheese and green beans and you can have it or have some, whatever you want. 
Um, this tomato plant, this is one of the ones I got that she ain't doing all that well. I'm just gonna cut off the yellow, yellowing leaves there. And then this one too. Don't be afraid to prune your stuff like I was. <laughs> I used to be so afraid to prune my plants because I used to feel like if I cut it, it's gonna kill it, but it just helps it grow more. I'm just cutting off anything that's yellow because they're not any good. Let's see, anything else over here? Ooh, ooh we got a wasp. Um, we got some, big, some flowers coming in. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and trim that little one there. And I'm just gonna cut it at the tip there. All right, and over here, we have some more yellow leaves that we need to trim off these little squash plants. So this is actually a zucchini plant that I need to cut the leaves off of it. Try to trim as many of your yellowing leaves as possible. And I'll come back and clean all that up. Let's see, any more yellowing? Oh, I need to probably go ahead and get that zucchini there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that one off. Let's see. What's going on with this leaf? Oh, she did. Let me turn this plant around. And got another yellow leaf that we need to trim. Uh-oh. Look at this, this one got caught on the, on the pole, on the stake here. That's a bee flying around me. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this cucumber. I mean, this, um, this nice size zucchini. All right, the cucumber plant is growing and it's getting pollinated as we speak. Look at all those beautiful flowers. Come on, cucumbers. And this salsa garden is growing so very nicely. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. My cilantro and y'all, I think I've told you before, me and cilantro, I never have a good crop of cilantro and that is doing very well i'm so excited for this um and that bee is just hopping from flower to flower all right the pineapple tomato plants back there are doing really good we got peppers we got flowers coming up and over here poor petunia she looking terrible but look we have a melon coming in there we have another one back here right there um plenty of green beans these are looking so much better i'm probably gonna go ahead and trim this yellow leaf off of this one though just because um but this little box is doing really nicely and i never planted beans and melons together before but now that i've done it i'm really seeing how the green beans are helping the melons to flourish because I never have success with melons. We got a baby green bean back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, it's hard for me to get the camera because I'm on. Oh, there it is. Right there. Right there. Um, oh, there's another leaf that I need to trim back here. Um, just trying to get all of the yellowing leaves off. But as I was saying, I never have success with melons, but look at that. We got another one coming in there. So I'm really excited because it's doing its thing. We got success. And over here, we're still, strawberries are still struggling a little bit. And I know what the problem is. I, I'm just gonna let them do whatever and then pick them one by one as they come in. Um, the nasturtium are still flourishing very nicely. 
let's see the peach tree she's growing up really nicely the potatoes are looking crazy and that's because if you look down there we got a potato we have a couple of potatoes that are coming to the surface hold on let's see we have two i don't know if you can see them but there's two potatoes there um, this potato plant is growing a lot now back over here to the squash i gotta readjust where i made a boo-boo here i gotta readjust this because i do want them to continue to grow upright it's doing well upright oh we have another zinnia now these are the pepper plants and i have a pepper that i need to go ahead and prune i don't know if y'all can see but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and i'm gonna get that leaf too and then we have another one here and this one has been out here for a while and it hasn't gotten any larger so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it so we have two nice peppers and i think this one can stay on a little bit this one i'm gonna go ahead and cut it because it has a hole in the top of it so something is trying to get to it and it was starting to turn it's really soft right there so i need a basket but let's get these leaves here i gotta put my gloves on y'all hold on all right so this is growing up nice and tall this green bean um over here these green beans are doing the plants are doing well hasn't started to produce anything yet the cucumber plant is struggling a little bit but the green bean is doing really well and you can see how hot it is because the leaves are just like curling up and withering a little now the corn is nothing gonna happen with that but i have decided that these dead pieces from the raspberry plant I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and get rid of them because I don't think they're serving any purpose at this point point. and this one I don't know if I should cut this one or not although it looks dead I'm gonna cut it yeah I'll just go ahead oh ouch that prickly got me out it's, it's not connected to the plant so it's fine to leave it like that and I'll just pull it off when it's not so hot out here but you can see it's still getting not lots of nice green leaves and it's still growing and this one is growing real tall so i'm not too concerned um about not producing raspberries the phone overheated while i was talking to y'all that fast so um i didn't even get to finish showing you what i was doing but i hope that you could see what i was doing in the garden today and um just a little bit of maintenance. Oh, I didn't show you the pretty little blue flowers. I'm gonna try to show you that really quickly before the phone overheats again. But, oh, one other thing I wanna show you was my jasmine, hold on. Look at that, the jasmine is doing so nicely. It's so pretty, so pretty. Um, but all in all, this is an overview of the garden and we've done some pruning before it got super super hot but my phone overheated already so it's time to take this in the house um some more wildflowers that's and this is like wild grass that was part of the seeds i guess but this is going to be a flower here but look at those those are so pretty to me really pretty and i think they're self-seeding oh look at that one i don't know if y'all can see it so pretty and blue but we're gonna have oh another flower getting pollinated look at the bee so I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little garden walkthrough and update on my garden this year. Got another marigold seed or another marigold pod so I can get the seeds out of it. Um, let me show y'all the marigold seeds that I have real quick. So this is all the flowers that I've picked off. And you can see I'm going to have tons of seeds in here. And look at that. Look at all those seeds. That's marigold seeds. If you've never seen them before, I just do them like this and look at all those seeds. Oh, I love it, I love it. Love to grow things so that you can have your own seeds. Okay, it's time to go in the house because 
as you can see i'm hot the back porch is still not all the way together but that video is coming soon because it's about to be done and ready for the summer like it's july it should have been ready but we've been just doing a whole bunch of stuff we've been busy so the porch is almost done and um i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little garden walkthrough um and i'll see y'all on the next video see you later